Hello everybody, I'm going to call this the odds and ends of the 1981 Silverado Refresh. Sometime back I had found a new old stock turn signal for the bumper. And that looks so good. I had to get one for this side, but it took many years to find it. Let's go ahead and get that changed out. There's the new old stock GM. It appears to be from 1993. So this truck would have been 12 years old when that was made. Just three 930 seconds screws. One here, one here, and one here. This lower panel has a crack in it and I happen to have a new old stock one reproduction to put in here and the it was binding up against this bottom screw so I had to go ahead and take that out so it's a good opportunity to swap that out right quick Okay, now I gotta get the socket removed, which twists and goes out of the way. This should just pivot out like so. Not a big deal. Let's go ahead and get the new one out of the box. And there it is. Awesome. What I'm going to have to do is take these clips off of this one and move them to the replacement. They just pull off and simply slide onto the replacement. Oh, we could paint those right quick. Let's do that. If they look a little better. I got those little clips painted and that looks much better. So let's go ahead and get this back in. I see one more thing I need to do. Clean that bumper out a little bit. Alright, let's get this reinstalled. We'll plug the socket back in. Just locks into place and that looks a heck of a lot better even on that side. Very nice. Here's that lower deflector I was talking about. I had new old stock reproduction just sitting on the shelf the mounting holes already rusted so I put a bunch of oil on them so that should help those out a little bit maybe
not showing on camera I had to do some soldering gun modifications on this side of this air deflector to that bolt to the next two over because this side didn't want to fit at all but I got it you may remember some videos years ago fixing this turn signal that's still holding up and that's still quite a popular video but there's a look at the back side of that deflector not much to see did a little polishing on the bumper it is original from 81 but it looks real good with that turn signal replaced over here that looks pretty good to me this one's still original I haven't had an issue with this side yet but that's what the original socket looks like some of my bits and pieces are finally coming in here's the new stainless steel trim for the carpet panel so I'm going to pop those on right quick I've already got the old piece off come back here in a little bit while I had the door panel carpet off I had ordered some touch-up spray paint in the 30 dark blue metallic which is pretty close it's a little bit lighter than the original but quite acceptable for this use recall that section of primer I had there I've got that covered up and cleaned up and everything's in good shape so I'll put the carpet panel back on now the next miscellaneous item is this panel it ended up being a little bit too chewed up for my liking right there so I took a chance on getting a replacement as you can see they actually did a good job got this also from USA 1 so I'm going to pop this in and that should complete that section here is that new piece of trim installed doesn't quite lay down just flat and see here that dimmer switch sticks out plenty far enough and I use some white paint just like I did on that electronic spark control emblem and put some white paint back in the brake release the hood's fine so all that's good and here is the door panel all completed touched up paint and everything so that looks pretty sharp one item not shown that I installed was the, a new coat hook the old one was kind of broken and it didn't really hold any weight it was snapped right off where the screw goes in so I got that from LMC truck and I can't tell any difference between that and an OEM so they did a pretty good job whoever manufactured that on the reproduction part one thing of note I did paint that panel that goes right under the steering column with that touch up paint I got and it looks to be a pretty darn good match so I might get some more and respray the bottom section of the dash it's got some spots that need a little help here and there that's where our garage door opener was mounted back in the 80s and it took the paint off right there so that would be one spot especially that would be nice to touch that up so I did a quick sanding and cleaned it up real well and sprayed it with that blue touch-up paint and looks pretty good to me looks much better than that bad spot that was there so now perhaps I can take the ashtray out and the glove box out and tidy those up a bit and this little section here see that does need a little respray so we're just about ready to call this little project finished up for now never done with an old truck but I got all the parts installed that I had so we'll uh, wrap this up pretty soon thank you for watching